Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Big Eyes in your wave, a trader analyzes stock charts. Alright, so if you are an alien way trader, alien way student, somebody who is interested in alien way trading, uh, this video is for you. I encourage traders to watch the full length of this tutorial so they may understand everything, alright? Following our trading guidelines, all right, it looks to me at this point in time with the information that we have that this is the first wave for this uh, stock chart. I'm on a monthly chart, by the way, all right. So the area we count is a uh, dynamic, okay. So we go one step at a time following the price, we go forward and we go backwards. It's very important that's where we leave our drawing on the chart, it's not set in a stone. So as I explained to trade that are purchasing in your way forecast services, understand what those services providers are doing, one step at a time. So the wave count is going, it may change, the price may print something out, there may be a cancellation, there may be a violation that occur later on, violation of your way rule. And then suppose here, yeah, somebody, suppose now we are saying now we are in a third wave. Suppose we say now we are in a third wave, okay? So at this point, somebody may say that, okay? But that third wave is not, this is not the end of the third wave, it can be extended, 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 all right? To 361.8%, Fibonacci extension of the first wave can go even to 461.8%, Fibonacci extension of the first wave. But suppose we were, a few months later, the price come down like this, all the way here. So we have a violation. So the fourth wave should not overlap the first wave. So suppose you were purchasing a service that told you that this is the third wave, now the price did this. All I want you to remember is that the area wave count is dynamic one point at a time. With that, you start using the area wave count correctly. Recently, I also posted a video about uh, okay, how to improve your area wave count or a projection of the height of the first wave. So looking at this uh, stock, this is AMT. So everything else, as I said before, everything that you know in the financial market, all right, every trick and every tips and trick that you know in the financial market, don't forget them when you are using the area way principle. Why? Look at this. Look at this. All right. Because you are an area way trader, yes or no? Okay. Look at the trading volume. For years, okay, for years, for AMD. The trading volume, something something that you need to be aware of. The trading volume, the highest was the average of the high was in the region of uh, 700 million share on a monthly chart. On a monthly chart, okay. Look at that. Suddenly, from uh, 2017, we see it went up to 1.7 billion. A double, double, all right. The average highest volume. What's going on here? And look at the recent one here. Three billion share has been transacted. What's going on? And the price has broken a resistance. So we say that it's becoming bullish. So with that stack of trading volume that we have never seen for this stock before, we will see that it looks to me that any time the price break any resistance and find support, we should be buyers, not sellers. That would be a good thing because for our guideline, the first buyers will load it, so consolidation, and then what? Breakout. So Santa Desi George, I love you so much. I'm going to put okay all my saving on this. And you are the man, I trust you. Don't trust me. <laughs> Trust yourself, please. Or <laughs> don't trust me. So we see a breakout, a bull, a consolidation that was in place in 2009. Blah, 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 blah. Make a bull, retest on the dot, the consolidation. All right? Yes or no? And we have a highest trading volume. So what do we need to do? As practically speaking, all right? St analyzing the stock chart. You see, that's what I'm using the well stock charts. The reason also why I use a big eyes in your way trader, for in your way trader, we use our eyes a lot, yes or no? We are looking at the chart, we are looking inside the chart from all the angles. 
So if you're with trader, uh, if you if your vision or eyesight is poor, you need glasses. All right, this is true. If you're in your way trader, you need glasses. Get one. The better that you see, uh, the big eyes you got, the better. All right. You can see like an eagle. That's why if you go to two four in your way, we have the eagle as the sign. All right. It's not by mistake because you need your eye to dissect the price structure. Yes or no? So talking about the stock chart, AMD. Before I forget, you see, so we were talking about trading volume. So close to me, people are buying, people are more interested. There is a trading activity going on, increase in trading volume here, increase in trading activity. Either they want to sell it. If they are selling, we will see. We start forming, forming lower lows, lower high. But so far, it's going up. So there is a distress line that I want you. I don't want you to draw on your chart if you are interested. You see, there's a resistance there. So for what we are calling now, we are the third way to continue. The prime must break above that and find a support. So probably we will have a complex third wave if the trend continues. If those people here are truly, truly biased. Or we may see a cancellation. It happens sometimes. So you see one, two, three, it's easy to go out, and then come back now because. If the S&P 500, which is why we are trading for it, become better, you can cancel it all the way. Say, John, you were saying that there will be a trend. There's no trend. And a few years later, the trend that we were expecting today may start somewhere down the line here. All right? <laughs> Go up. But then that trend line, drawing on your stock chart, because it's very, very important, a trend line. In fact, my friend, I want you to draw another line, this one connect this one uh, in fact what we're going to do now I think I have enough home to make it parallel okay is it parallel enough well, what I'm doing you see we just select this point now and we had want to draw a line that is parallel to that one so, this is about keeping our eye on the structure you see that okay. connect with this one you see, it's almost parallel is it see parallel almost yes it's parallel my friend you see i keep my eyes wide open and i draw a line and so we draw also the media line of that channel do that if you are interested in this or if you are near your way trader remember keep your eyes wide open what we are doing here for why you are trading also you can do exactly the same thing apart from the wave count apart from the wave patterns you want to keep your eyes on the stock chart See now, nothing big. See, see when now we retest the media line on that wide channel that was in place for years, I find a resistance there, here, 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 here. Now it breaks above it. Now it retest the top of the consolidation right there, but it did find a resistance on the media line. Now when he ran from here, he went to the top of that okay channel. Not by mistake, isn't it? Not by mistake. So as an area we try to will be good for you to keep your eye, your big eye, very important. Keep it wide open so you may see exactly what's happening. So if you start pulling back now, where would you be expecting a kind of support? Probably at the media line of that upper channel. Somewhere, you see this upper channel? That would be a place to watch, isn't it? Right? Or to break above this one, and it test it see up so you as a linear way trader want to trade this all right you want to so if you calm down here all right and then you know or in fact a brain below the media line and then find resistance you know that okay and then commercial is broken you take it down to this one and then you get to reverse all the way back here you say all right george it has cancelled it but all you are doing you are just flowing with the price if I suppose you purchase a service for me as an earlier way practitioner, you say, John, you are the guru, all right? You are the man that I trust. And I say to you, please don't trust me. <laughs> trust your wife. <laughs> oh no, this to make you laugh. <laughs> okay. So we are so when we see the first wave and the second wave, all right. It's good that we see a consolidation before that, which is great. And we look down, we check the trading volume. Are people interested in? Looking at AMD, we have seen a high interest more than ever before. In fact, if you look back up to 95, we have never seen people be so interested in this. Why people are now interested in this? This is about now 
keeping your ears on the ground. You see now? Why? The reason is, recently, the number one competitor to AMD is what? NVIDIA. Do you use computers? Graphics card? NVIDIA is the number one competitor for advanced macro devices, AMD. So NVIDIA was going up for some time, very, very bullish. So that sector of chip, macro chips, we are using more smartphones, more tablets, okay? The, the Microsoft Surface Go, Microsoft Surface Laptop, Microsoft uh, Studio, and so on. Uh, uh, the, the Google Pixel, uh, and so on, all kind of phones, LG, G7, blah, blah, blah. So there's a demand for that sector. So recently, keeping our ears on the ground, knowing what's going on, why suddenly, for the first time, people are so interested in this talk, is because of NVIDIA. NVIDIA was having a, ver a very, very a good time. And, and the, the, this American stock, NVDA. So you may say to me, George, I don't care about American stock. So what can I learn from this video? That's a very interesting question. What you can learn from this video is that when you are applying all right, area wave theory, all right, area wave principle to any store, try to you can you can look at the peels P W E R S the peels of that stock company that are in the same industry, same sector. And see what is happening there. You can also look at the wave structures of that those peels. Those structures can also help you because usually if they are in the same cell, you may see some fractal patterns. So because people were so interested in NVIDIA, so from 2012, it's just going up, going up. People say it's going to stop. We see extension after extension after extension. People say it's going to crack. It's just extension after extension. It's breaking resistance, breaking resistance. It's becoming bullish until it goes back below the prior high. So now we are here for NVIDIA on the monthly chart. This is the prior high. If it goes back below, we say, oh, it's becoming bearish. People were loading, so to speak, all right, NVIDIA. But before that, you see that trend to begin, we see again a surge in time. In fact, there were one here before. Then we have a trend. Now we have again, again, another surge here. And then we have that trend. So our uh, you see, surge in time, and then here it is. There was a move up. Uh, in, in fact, not, we may say impulse wave. All right. Another surge, and here again, that's going up, going on no stop. So because of what is happened to happening to Nvidia, which is one of the competition, the peers of uh, Nvidia, those who are buying, so this is a basket trading. So they understand the smart money, the hedge fund. They say, all right, the same sector. So some of people are hedging their position. So they say, the competitors, if this one going up. The other one should go down, and so, so they buy both. They buy AMD, they buy NVIDIA, they buy all the peers all together in one basket. It's a training strategy. So as an annual way trader, okay. you can also do that. So that's why you see this uh, surge in volume because that sector of uh, uh, chips in computers, graphic car, and so on, is becoming very, very popular. And so people believe in the future of AMD. So with this surge in trading volume, when we see it like this, instead of using spread betting or option, you can just buy and hold it in a real portfolio and leave it there for some years. So they're not going to kick you all with that. There's a volatility, blah, blah, blah. You are in your way trader. You say, oh, they kick me all the time. You just buy and hold it. So you buy at $10 today, you'll be tripling your money because it went to $30. All right. So we can do more. So, but what I'm doing, those are practical tips and tricks, things that you need to be aware of, paying attention to the peers. That's why, paying attention to the trading volume after the first wave. So this is quite significant. So this strategy now, anytime this thing breaks and resistance, the final support, it's an invitation to buy. Any higher low, 
a twilight broker, an invitation to buy using a top down trading method. But those who enter the early stage, okay, here $10, $12, okay, at this junction here, this was a, so the, the best place to, blah, 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 blah. So if you want to buy a hold, it's very simple, buy a bow the high of the first wave, break a bow the high, so you are probably in the third wave, okay, just hold it. You see, if that sector is booming and leave it there, you want to buy at a support level, okay, now it's at the original level, hold back, okay, so on, oh, this up. There's a high chance that this is what we are calling a third wave. If the market does not become very bearish, talking about the S&P 500, trading first the market, it become bearish, it can cancel it all. It's stay bullish, the market environment stay bullish, talking about a tariff war between the United States and China, the Brexit in the United Kingdom, if everybody keep the smile on the, for this, all right. But there is a danger for AMD because those who have, what's happening? This is a market sentiment. People are bullish about, okay, graphic car, computer games, all right? And this particular setup. So they have played already. Those who are trading forex understand it. Sometimes you'll see it, okay? People buy the euro and they are selling the pound, all right? And then after they have finished to buy the euro or the trend is completed or the impulse is completed, now they come back and buy the pound. <laughs> so there is a kind of a latency between the two financial instruments that are in fact cor positively correlated. So while okay, the, 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 the Nvidia stock stock chart was bumping, gapping, gapping, going up big time, people were just holding this one. Some people position themselves because they can't afford to buy Nvidia, it becomes so expensive for them. So they say, let's buy instead AMD. And now, after they played, they played a trend of Nvidia, they feeling bored, they bullish. They say, what's next? You understand? So what's next? Nvidia, they say AMD. Okay, and they want to play also. So there is this urge to push AMD also up to replay what already happened with okay Nvidia. So one can compare the the, the area of structure of Nvidia to AMD. One can see how the price progress with Nvidia and see what's happening. So the sentiment was bullish for Nvidia. That is a high chance that the sentiment will be bullish for AMD. This is about technical trading. Apart from the technical trading, we should go a little bit deeper, check the fundamental, perform Google Assistant, check the news. But right now, uh, we see a huge surge in trading volume. We cannot ignore it. Uh, with that, there is a high interest in this store. We see the first wave on the monthly chart, second wave. All right. That channel, as an alien with trader, looking at this stock chart, you want to remember that chart. In fact, as we did before, you see this is the measurement of the height of the first wave which we talked about to pinpoint the horse portrait zone. Okay. I start projecting it up, okay? Automatically, how to improve in your wave analysis. Did you watch that video? Just projecting it up. So you see here, the two proxies at the target level. You see that how that, uh, see? Here? Uh, the height of the first wave. It's a problem. You see, reaction. Uh, did I squeeze it down? Or, uh, it's still good. All right. All right. So for those of you who are applying the area way to trade, uh, that's, those are the practical things. So now I'm going to uncharted territory. We, can, we don't have enough room to see. Them. So what I'll do, I'll use a half of that. So we divide it into two. Because we are going to uncharted territory. All right, so we squeeze it down, that's half of it. And then we put only the half on top, all right there. Okay, so that's another midpoint target. So break it both, start going up. Remember the media line, between the two lines. So as the price going, you're counting your way. You want to align it with the hot spot trading zone. The zone, so it is a zone. So it comes first way. So you know, there's a media line, there's a resistance there, break a bow, retest. And now you just flow in with the price. If you start coming down, break the low, retest, you just flow with it. And then when you give priority to the stock chart, to the price structures, what the price is doing first, the market pattern first, that's what you're doing first. And then you see 
Where are you? So the question about where are we is about the area wave pattern. Where are we? So we see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. That's where we are now. So one, two, three, four, five. That five become one. That's where we are now. Okay? But apart from asking the question, where are we now? There's other question. Where are we going? Price target. Okay? Use the height of the first wave. Draw the channel. Where are we? Where is the support level? The other question, what is going on? What's going on is that people were interested in, okay, graphic car. That sector is booming. They bought. This is about what's going on, okay? Nvidia <laughs> before. Now they want to play the same thing here. Will it happen? So we just go one step at a time. At this point in time, practical area way trading. You see a breakable, a consolidation. We can also say your practical trade. We can also use the height of uh, the height of uh, the consolidation and project it up. Project it up. It's almost half of you see now. It's a half. Okay, it's working beautifully. Working beautifully. Okay. All right. So those are the things that I want to talk about. So, as always, if you need glasses and a minute, all right, this is not to okay mock people. All right, you get one. Okay. Otherwise, keep your big eyes. Like I said, big eye in your way trader analysis stock chart. What's going on? Draw the channel, draw the media line. Okay, understand what's happening now. First way, second way, third way, probably not finish here, maybe extended more. Anytime we call something first, third, and fifth can be extended. We don't want to stop on a monthly chart alone. You see here, so probably find a resistance there, find a resistance here. Now you get finding a resistance there. You see, is it going? So here, when they sold it, they sold it all the way down. So what has happened before has a high chance to happen again. So this is about keeping your big eye open. So sorry there, come down all the way down. Yeah, come down. So it can all, again come down all the way here. We don't want to forget that. Do yourself as well. But something has changed. You see here, when it comes all the way down here, we don't have the same uh, trading volume. Now we have too much volume. Even if it comes down more, people need to check the fundamental and see what's going on here. Uh, Unless those who bought it, those are buyers, by the way, because the break resistance here, those are buyers. Uh, we need to monitor those uh, first buyers because they are still in place. Are they going to come out? We will see. Uh, is, uh, is this bar here? Sellers, we'll see. Okay, if you start forming lower lows, lower high, we know that, okay, they are coming out. So they enter here and now they are coming out here. But so far, if it breaks in resistance ahead, we just flow with it. And see what will happen. So we are playing a yin and a yang, ready to sell, ready to buy, flowing with the price. Though we are area wave traders, we are using area wave in conjunction with every tool that we already have, okay, in our disposal. Talking about the stock chart, the price action, the price structure, our big eyes, okay, asking question, where are we now? About area wave analysis. Where are we going? Price target and area way forecast. What is going on? Digging into it. Fundamental analysis, Google Assist test, the news, the peers, the sector, the market itself, the S&P 500. Taking all in this consideration, you say, Joe, that's too much for me. Break it down one step at a time. If you are lacking on one cell area, okay, decide to improve it. And then you go step by step until you become a fully fledged okay financial market analyst that can use the area wave theory like a big eyes area wave trader if you have any question or suggestion please put in the comment section and of course i will be recording another video to answer your specific question the financial instrument that we are analyzing today is advanced micro devices very popular american stock epic is alpha mike delta the number one competitor to amd or the peer the number one peer of amd is nvidia stock uh, producing graphic cards for computers tablets and so on all right if this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let me know by sticking your beautiful thumbs up. I really, really appreciate those thumbs up. If you think that, George, I'm not impressed, mark it down. I pay attention to those also to know exactly, is it too long? All right, what's going on? And so on, and so on. 
However, if you think this is an essential tutorial that can help other idea with Trader, please help us by sharing it on Tumblr or Google Plus, Twitter or Facebook. So this will conclude our discussion today about big eyes in your way of trader analysis structure. You don't want to see my eyes today because it's so widely open. It will scare your children. <sighs> All right. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. It is free and click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, my friend, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders and talking about big eyes, area wave trader, analysis, stock charts. Happy training to you all and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. I was trying to keep it to seven minutes to make it a short form tutorial. Well, but it's good to talk. It's now 26 minutes. For those of you who want a short form tutorial, you have to come back another day. If not, you can watch it a little bit, go home, come back again, and watch it bit by bit until you watch everything. Thank you for watching.